So hey, what's up everyone? This is Jim back here with another video. So today I will be telling you how you can create your own Chrome extension completely free. Okay? You can also upload it on the Chrome store. Okay. So for making a Chrome extension, first I am here creating a folder. Okay. And I'm taking the name as extension here. Okay. And on that folder, just open the VS Code through it. So yeah, I, I've opened my VS Code here, and here I just create my first file for. Creating the Chrome extension, you have to create a file called manifest.json. Okay, manifest.json file is very much important for making the Chrome extension. Okay, is the main file you can definitely set. So I am here in manifest.json here. Okay, so here we will write our code for the Chrome extension and we will load here right now and let's see if we'll be loading or not. Okay, so here uh, first have to create the name. So name. So tell me a uh, name. Uh, so the name make. Uh, Jit jokes. Actually, I want to create a uh, joke extension, joke Chrome extension. Okay, it will fetch you uh, creative jokes, you know, humorous jokes. Okay, and um, just will simply, uh, I want to keep it very simple. And whenever you tap that extension, you will get some of the jokes, some of the humorous jokes. Okay, so yeah, this is all about my, you know, this our today's project. And just to keep smile on everyone's face, that's my motive. That's my motive. You can definitely say so. For that, I'm creating this Chrome extension. Uh, so what should I uh, write here as a name? Um, Jit jokes. No. What about the JB jokes? JB means Jit Banerjee by name, so JB jokes would be better. So JB jokes. Okay. Now I have to write the version. Okay. For the version, I will create here 0.0.1. Okay. So this is a standard version. Our first version. Okay. Can definitely say. So our manifest version would be here. Two. Okay. I don't know about the current version. I have to just check it here. Like a uh, manifest version, I will keep it here as a two. Um, keep it here as a three. Okay. So it will be. Definitely on the current version should be. Just save this file. Uh, let's open the Chrome and let's see is it the open there or not. Okay, so for that, simply I'm opening here my Chrome browser. Then now simply go to the extension bar. Just you have to turn on this developer mode. It would automatically turn off, but yeah, I have to turn on it first and then load and back extension and then I have to turn the desktop. So in the extension, just in the folder. Yeah, as you can see here, JB jokes. Yes, our. Extension JB means Jit Banerjee by name, so JB just have created this name and 0.0.1. So our version here. So I can this is my Chrome extension. Okay, so I can here pin can yeah, it's already pinned. So here, so we can do unpin as well, whatever with this extension. So now let's go to the VS Code now again. Now we will create our browser actions as well for for the phone extension. What should be the browser action must be there? Like uh, we just want to have pop up or have a new click window, whatever, whatever you can adjust as your own. So I'm here as in a pop up. So for that we are adding browser action. I'm here adding a default pop up. The name should be pop up pop up dot html. Okay, this would be our file. And yeah, for sure I will be creating this file for sure. And now again I have to create our icon as well. So for that uh, default Icon. Okay. We just missed a comma here. Okay. Default icon. Now I will create our icon. I will make it right now, and I should make a name of it like uh, logo dot png. It should be our icon name. Yeah. And I will be load here just right here, and just simply paste here after making it. Okay. So yeah. Permissions here. Permissions uh, here. I'm here. I'm making as an uh, active tab. Okay. Active. Yeah. So for that, our Tag will be active as always. Okay. Also, I just forgot to make an icon, so I just make an icon here, and you can also create 64, 128, 64, whatever, whatever. So I'm here taking as a 128. Okay. As a dimension here, logo dot png. So yeah, the pop up dot html. I have to create this file as well here now. So for that new file. So for pop up dot html. Before that, uh, I just want to create a logo for our Chrome extension. So uh, just simply, I'm here go to. Canva, and I just want to create my own Chrome extension for that. So here, as you can see, uh, I just create as a logo here. Yeah, JB jokes for that. Uh, JB. J. What about this? I'm just creating a for the sample purpose. I'm just creating here as a logo here for the, from the Canva. Okay. This is our logo. I just simply download this. As a PNG file here, Q that my simply this our I'm just simply change the name. Yes, logo dot. Make our uh, pop up dot HTML file. The default HTML code, some of the sample codes you can set, and for the title 
shady jokes as you know my jokes <laughs> and we are taking up p tag jokes corner appear here okay so now simply go to our extension and let's see our this logo dot png this logo is appeared here uh, in the chrome extension or not okay this is error okay what about the error this logo dot png browser action manifest version of two or lower okay so we have to create our manifest version two for that go to our manifest.json file and simply change it as a two and now click save and now simply go to our ah so now as you have seen i have changed here as three and now let's see is there any errors or not no now our logo has appeared here successfully as you can see and here is no error okay and have tagged here yeah, jokes gonna appear here it is showing here right now as you can see so for the random jokes i have selected an api called i can has that joke okay so this is the website i can has that joke okay and from here we can fetch any of the jokes we can get the apis and all first read this you know which kind of json file it is and so for that json our json is valid as you can see i just simply make a script so it is our script.js file i have just make a script here we create .js file here. we will call the fetch over here in this file okay fetch and just simply copy this dot then data fetch it from that data dot json have to convert it here data dot json file okay from fetch i have to first fetch it and now dot then book data constant joke text equal to joke data dot attachments joke text so now simply open our p tag so from here our joke will gonna appear so so i just simply create an id here in the p tag so we can access here our jokes will do joke elements so these are our p tag and then the p tag we just created the id joke elements and from here it will be created about our fetch about the data of the jokes and yeah constant joke element document dot and dot get element by right. now simply joke element dot inner html equal to show text okay so now let's see our chrome extension now it will appear a joke or not so as you can see our jokes are appearing here so for first uh it is showing jokes gonna appear here so we're gonna appear here so simply i'll just change it jokes will uh, will gonna appear here just simply convert it to the loading part it will be much better now loading and just simply save it yeah and let's see yeah loading it's appearing and yeah after that it appear our jokes okay so now simply uh it's not looking very good here as you have seen so for that um let's style our extension okay for that we just have to simply make our style.css okay here and just simply created a, a style.css file and then just simply style it as a, it uh, should look better for that and yeah. so now i have simply created a css file here as well okay so and just let's see how it will look like and yeah as you can see our jokes is appeared here and i have just created this css file so it will look better for now much better than previous okay so yeah so whenever you click on this extension it will uh, give you a new or humorous jokes for sure uh, as you can see yeah first this loading may appear because i have this loading one so for that first loading is appearing here and then simply and our jokes okay. as you can see so yeah now you can just simply upload this chrome extension in the chrome extension store for that just simply publish chrome extension as you can see yeah yeah this is the page this is the documentation and you can definitely follow and you can read for sure and just go to your chrome profile developer dashboard just simply and you have to just put sign it sign it up and yeah after signing it and you have to agree this agreement and you have to pay for the registration fee okay you should have to pay and this is the five dollar as you can see here is the registration fee for the chrome developer profile 